Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest and the greatest in the world of technology. In this video, we are going to be talking about the best laptops for computer science engineering and programmers in 2023 and that too in India. And if you are a regular viewer, you might remember our previous video on this topic which had over 1,81,000 views. So, we are back with an updated list of the latest and the greatest laptops that will take your computing experience to the next level. Before we get started with our list, we are going to bust 5 myths that most people have about purchasing a laptop for computer science engineering which might not be true. Firstly, more expensive laptops are always better. This is not necessarily true as you can often find affordable laptops that can perform just as well as their more expensive counterparts. Secondly, you need a high-end graphics card for computer science engineering. I know a lot of people think that this is true but it is definitely not. While a dedicated graphics card can be helpful for certain tasks, it's not always necessary for computer engineering. Thirdly, a high resolution display is always better. While a high resolution display can be great for certain tasks, it's not always necessary and can sometimes drain your battery faster. Fourthly, you need a laptop with a lot of storage space. Now this is almost always true kind of but I know there is always a preference for you know, the cheapest and the highest storage space and for that reason a lot of people still prefer hard disk drives which are definitely much slower than SSDs. Guys this is 2023. Just prefer SSDs over hard disk drives because even a lot of games these days definitely works faster when they're loaded from the SSD instead of the hard disk drives. So prioritize an SSD over a hard disk drive. Finally, you can't upgrade a laptop. While some laptops may have limited upgrade options, there are many laptops that can be easily upgraded so you can improve your laptop performance over the time and not just try to spend all the budget you have at the same time. Don't worry guys, I will be telling you which laptops are upgradable and which are not. Also an important note, this is a two part video. This is the first part where we discuss laptops of two categories. The budget series that's from 30,000 to 40,000 and the mid range series that's 40,000 to 50,000. The second part is where we will be talking about the pro series laptops with higher budget. So definitely Definitely don't forget to subscribe for that one. Also, we are going to talk about quite a lot of laptops, so grab some tea or coffee. Let's first start with our budget laptops category, where we have the best laptops for students and beginners who are on a very tight budget. First up, we have the Lenovo IdaPad S340 at just 25,000. This one is a great entry-level laptop that's perfect for everyday use. It's got an Intel Celeron N4020 processor, 8 GB RAM, 256 GB SSD, Windows 11 and even comes with a 2 years warranty and at just 1.7 kg it's super lightweight and easy to carry around. Now let's take a look at some of the pros and the cons. Talk about the first pro, it's portable, thin and light so you can take it anywhere. Second, Windows 11 and Office 2021 are already installed so you can get to work right away. Third, with a 2 year warranty and 3 month game pass it's a great value although this laptop is not made for gaming anyway. Finally talking about the cons, the entry level processor means that the performance is somewhere limited. I mean it's Intel Celeron not even Core i3 so you can just use some basic logic right second the display is on hd so the visuals might not be as clear as they would be with a full hd display i can't really complain at this price point though overall i think the lenovo idapad slim 3 is a great choice for anyone looking for an affordable laptop that's lightweight and both easy to use but be alert this laptop has received many mixed reviews from amazon customers while it is budget friendly and praised for being a good value for basic tasks like ms office and browsing some users initially reported issues like a faulty motherboard which lenovo definitely resolved others found the sound quality and charging speed to be lacking. It is recommended for kids, startup users and offers a good price to performance ratio for you know lightweight tasks. By the way, links of all the laptops will be given in the description down below for ease of use as these laptops just keep getting out of stock, updated. So I will keep updating the links now and then. So definitely check them out. Secondly, we have the famous HP 15S just shy of rupees 33,000. This laptop is a great budget friendly option that comes with a 15.6 inch HD display, 8 GB SD RAM, 250 GB SSD, AMD Titan graphics and of course Windows 11 Home. It even includes MS Office 2021 and offers fast charging which is a huge plus. Here are some of the pros of this laptop. It's a great value for the price. The booting speed is really fast thanks to its SSD. MS Office 2021 is included so you don't have to worry about purchasing it separately. The fast charging support is really convenient. And here are some of the cons. There is a battery percentage bug that can cause incorrect display and sudden shutdown. So make sure to keep an eye on that. Some units may have warranty issues which could indicate that they are used laptops. There have been some concerns about the packaging quality while buying from Amazon. The screen quality is not as good as expected so keep that in mind if you are looking for high quality visuals. But if you can afford to squeeze your budget up to Rs 34,000 I would skip this one for the Lenovo V15 instead. Looking at the Lenovo V15 Ryzen 3 5300U, I can see that it's a great laptop for students and daily use as well as some light gaming. But before that, guys I need help. I'm limited by the number of laptops I can talk about in this video. Of course cuz retention 
then you know making long videos just doesn't get views so there are a lot more laptops in this budget range i can talk about so if you want me to make that video comment down below i will make a video series for each budget range now back to the video starting with the pros the premium filling plastic build is just amazing the performance is excellent especially for the price you're paying and the keyboard is comfortable and the trackpad is really smooth you get a decent battery life of around six hours which is pretty good and of course it's thin light and portable at just 1.7 kg which makes it so easy to carry around in school or college with a 65 adapter you can charge it up really quickly however there are few cons to consider the non ips screen has four viewing angles which may be a let down for some users without dual channel ram the gaming performance is of course very limited there are only two usb ports which may be a bit of a hassle for some users at least for some power users of course although it is having the rapid charge feature it might degrade the battery over time so you will want to be cautious about that now one more thing to note is that the AMD Vega graphics outperform Intel iGPU in this price range. However, Intel laptops might offer better battery life. If you want to upgrade to the Ryzen 3 5500U edition of this laptop, it would cost you around 39,000. Now, if you don't care that much about the raw horsepower, but build and fill is at priority, then Lenovo ThinkBook 15G3 is the one. And that too at just under 36,000. The Lenovo ThinkBook 15G3 Ryzen 3 is a 15.6 inch full HD thin and light laptop with a sleek mineral grey design. And here's a rundown of what this device has to offer. It boasts an 8GB RAM, 512GB SSD, Windows 11 Home and a fingerprint reader for extra security. And here are some of the pros. More powerful processor compared to Core i3 11th generation and even Ryzen 3 3250U. Great graphics performance for light gaming and 4K videos. Up to 5 hours of battery life in power saving mode and of course sleek mineral grey design. Decent screen and keyboard, fingerprint reader for added security. You can even upgrade the RAM and of course the great build quality. Now, here are some of the cons. Does not include paid Microsoft Office. Speakers aren't idle for music playback. Warranty might start earlier than the purchase date, but don't worry, you can easily adjust it by contacting the customer service. The next one's a little controversial given it might look a little dated for 2023. But it's what on the inside that matters, right? Presenting the HP 14S. The HP 14S is an awesome budget laptop that has got you covered in terms of appearance, features, performance and battery life. With a 5th generation AMD Ryzen 3 processor, 8GB RAM, 512GB SSD, 14 inch Full HD IPS Micro H display and weighing only 1.46 kg, it's got everything you need. Now let's take a look at some of the pros. It has a really compact, comfortable design that's perfect for traveling. The hinge is reliable and wobble free so you can use it with ease. The display is really sharp and bright with excellent contrast and sharp text. It has good variety of ports so you can connect all your devices. The RAM is upgradable which is great for those who like to tinker around. It comes with Windows 11 Home and Office 2021 pre-installed. So you are ready to go right out of the box. It has powerful performance and stays cool even during intensive tasks. The battery life is amazing with 8 to 10 hours of backup. Now let's take a look at some of the cons. The plane lid attracts dust and fingerprints so you will need to keep cleaning it constantly. The trackpad space is limited due to the single hinge design and tapping can be uncomfortable due to the clattering noise. The screen is glossy with contrast and color balance dropping of below 80% brightness. Most ports except the SD card are on the right hand side which can be inconvenient for people who are trying to use a mouse. Upgrading requires removing rubber pads and screws which isn't the most user friendly option. The fan response can be a little slow and distracting. And there are bloatwares pre-installed including you know McAfee, LastPass and some Windows games but this can be easily uninstalled later on. Overall the HE14S is a great value for the price with impressive performance, display and battery life. However, it's important to consider its limitations such as the trackpad noise, port placement and fan response before making a decision. The next one is one of the most most popular request on my comment section and that is the Honor Magic Book 15 which costs under 40,000. If you're looking for a thin and light laptop, the Honor Magic Book 15 might just be what you need. It features an AMD Ryzen 5 5500U processor, a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS anti-glare display, 8GB RAM and a 256GB PCI SSD. Plus, it runs on Windows 11 and has a metal body with a fingerprint login feature. Let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. Pros. The display quality is excellent and will make your content look crystal clear. The build and the design are solid and affordable ensuring that you will get great value for your money. The Ryzen 5 5500U processor provides superior performance making your work and play experience smoother and faster. The backlit keyboard and touchpad are good so you can type away even in low light conditions. Cons. Unfortunately, after sales support and customer service in India are still very poor which can be a real bummer 
if you run into any such of issues so it's kind of a risk versus the rewards the speaker and battery quality are average so you might want to keep that in mind if you're looking for top-notch sound or a very long battery life in a laptop there is no ram upgrade option only storage replacement which means you might have to compromise on your multitasking capabilities lastly the camera quality and the position are subpar which might be a deal breaker if you frequently use your webcam for work from home situations overall the honor magic book 15 is a great laptop but it's definitely not perfect next up we have our mid-range laptops category where we have some great options that offer a good balance of performance and affordability first on our list is for the intel fanboys out there hp15s again but this time with core i3 processor inside the hp15s is a great choice for those looking for a stylish and capable laptop it comes equipped with 11th generation core i3 processor 8 gb ram a 512 gb ssd with a 3 gigahertz clock speed it offers good performance for work related performance now let's take a look at the pros premium design with an attractive hp logo good keyboard quality with easily accessible essential keys impressive speaker quality compared to competitors in this price range it includes two usb type a 3.0 ports and one usb type c 3.0 port pre-installed windows 11 and of course microsoft office 2021 with lifetime validity fast browsing speed of course there are always some cons to consider poor key visibility in low light conditions and inconsistent key alignment subpar screen quality and brightness compared to competitors no oled display at this price point so please guys limited to one external monitor due to usb type c port not supporting video output which is really weird no option for ssd expansion beyond the included 512 ssd nor additional hard disk or ssd slots it's worth noting that long-term performance and potential heating issues need further testing some additional notes to keep in mind battery life lasts six to seven hours during basic work tasks it can run gta 5 on low settings without graphics enhancements some users have reported heating issues while running excel and uh, tally prime which is weird Overall, the HP 15s is a visually appealing laptop that offers decent performance for its price. However, it's really important to be aware of its limitations such as its screen quality and lack of storage expansion options. Now, the next one is very interesting because we finally get to 12th gen Intel processors which really shook the market and this one you can get for like 43,000. Presenting the ASUS VivoBook 15, it is a laptop that's perfect for casual users and students. Before we make a purchase, let's go through some of its pros and cons. The laptop has a large 15.6 inch Full HD display with a good screen to body ratio which is perfect for watching movies or doing work you will love the keyboard which comes with a numpad and fingerprint sensor it's super comfortable to use and keeps your laptop secure you will get windows 11 and of course microsoft office 2021 and a mcafee one year subscription with this laptop it's lightweight weighing in at around 1.7 kg making it easy to carry around with you you will be happy to know that this laptop has a good number of ports so you won't have to worry about running out of space you will appreciate the camera privacy shutter which is perfect for when you need some extra privacy this laptop has a one degree hinge which makes it easy to work in any position now let's get to the cons while this laptop has decent screen quality it can have poor wing angles at times the battery life isn't that great lasting a maximum of two hours for web browsing which is bad there is a slight screen flex but it's nothing too major unfortunately there is no dedicated gpu which means you won't be able to play any triple games at good quality the laptop has bad speakers so you might want to invest in some external ones lastly there's no backlight on the keyboard which can be a bit of a bummer additionally there's one more ram and ssd slot with no hdd slot the next one is where we finally see beastly 8 series ryzen processor in a portable laptop and that is the asus vivobook 16x at just 49,000. the asus vivobook 16s is a great pick if you you are looking for a thin and light laptop. It features a 16-inch WUXGA display, an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H processor, 8GB RAM and 512GB SSD. Based on the reviews, here are some pros and cons. Great performance for day-to-day -day tasks and casual gaming at low to medium settings. Above average display quality for watching movies and videos. Impressive battery life of 6.5 to 7 hours on medium usage. Anti-glare display and backlit keyboard. Value for money and one year of antivirus and lifetime access to Microsoft Office and Windows 11 of course. Now let's talk about the cons the speakers are of average sound quality i mean pretty obvious most of the laptops at this price range would be some users have reported issues with the keyboard the touchpad and the build quality overall the asus vivo 16x 2022 is a solid option for college students and office workers who need a reliable laptop for day-to-day -day tasks However, keep in mind that some users have reported issues with the keyboard and the build quality, so it may not be the best choice for heavy use or gaming. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe for the second part of this video. Peace out.